Hey folks, welcome to the channel. In this video, we're gonna show you how to install or wire up one of these into your trailer. Now these wire in very simply, they've got a hot and a ground, and it actually takes the place of one of your running lights and pulls power from your running lights. So you don't have to run any additional wiring and it transmits wirelessly to the cab of your truck. So as long as your trailer has running lights like these, you can install this. Now, if your trailer doesn't have marker lights or they're not in a location where it's gonna work for you, there's also this model and this thing mounts straight to the back of your trailer and then runs into the trailer through this little grommet. I'm gonna have a link to this one and also to the other one in the description below so you can check them out for yourself. So we're gonna start by removing the old light. Now the old light has a cover on it and you can get in there with a screwdriver or even maybe just your fingernail and remove the plastic cover. Once the plastic cover is off, come in here with a screwdriver and remove the old light assembly. It should just pop right out and if you fish in deep enough, you will find two wire nuts. Once you get them out, you're gonna have two sets of wires. Now in my case, the green is hot, the white is ground. And on your new unit here, you're gonna have a hot and a ground. It'll even be marked. Now in this case, these are crimp-ons, so I'm actually gonna have to cut them. If you have screw-on wire nuts, you should just be able to unscrew them. So we're gonna cut and cut. And now we have our old light fixture removed. Now you do want to keep this in case one of your other ones happens to go on the fritz. Now we need to come back in with our wire strippers and uh, expose a little bit of copper here. So now we have all of our wires exposed with fresh copper. If you don't have a set of wire strippers, I do have a link for them down below if you need them. You can also just use a razor blade. You just wanna make sure that you don't go deep into the copper, but wire strippers make things a whole lot easier. So now to wire up the unit. So we're gonna start with our green, which is our hot connection. Take all three of these, twist them together. We're basically just reinstalling it just like the other one that we took off. And then we're gonna use a screw on wire nut. You can also use a crimp connector for this. You just need to make sure that whatever you use will fit back through the hole that you need to feed it through. We're gonna do the exact same thing with our ground and thread on our wire nut. So now we have our hot and our ground hooked up. In theory now, this thing should work. Now, if you wanna go test it, I'm gonna show you how to do that without hooking up your truck. And this little trick will work using a simple fuse or you can even use a paper clip. I recommend using a fuse just for safety's sake. You're gonna come into your connector here. Now your 12 volt system has to be on for this to work. And if you follow this ridge right across the top, you're gonna to put your fuse right in there. It should be making contact and now all your running lights should be turned on. And if your running lights are on, you should see LEDs on inside this thing. If they are on, you did it right. So now we can install this onto the trailer. You're gonna do the exact same thing, remove the lens. That's where the little mounting holes are. And usually you kind of have to get these wire nuts in one at a time. You can't shove them both through at the same time. We're gonna feed them into the body of the trailer. So now they're inside. We're gonna start with our first screw. Now in my case, all the screw holes lined back up perfectly, which is awesome. If they don't, you may have to drill little pilot holes to get your screws to start. Another little pointer is pre-install your antenna. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult once you get this thing on. Now you will notice the angle of the antenna means this thing has to point down. It does have a little right angle adapter if you want it to point a little bit more out. I'm probably actually gonna swap this thing out for that right angle adapter before we uh, go down the road with this the first time. You do wanna make sure that these are snug so you get a nice watertight seal. This thing does have a nice gasket on it. Now there is one more mounting hole here to keep this thing stable. It came with self-tapping screws, so you actually don't have to drill a pilot hole. You just get that guy going and you should be able to thread it right in. Now we just replace our lens and this part is done. Now inside the truck, this is the easy part. All you gotta do is plug this in and then pick where you're going to mount it. Now this thing actually comes with a couple different mounting options. It comes with a bracket that you can hang from the ceiling. It also comes with a bracket that you can stick over your rearview mirror because you're not gonna need it. You've got a trailer back there. I went a little bit different route. I actually 3D printed a ball mount for my Ram mount. Now, if you wanna check out some more 3D print videos, I'm gonna have those on the channel real soon. So you're gonna to wanna to go up into the corner and hit that subscribe button. So now when you turn on your truck 
and your running lights are on, you're gonna get a nice crystal clear view right out the back of your trailer. So if this video helped you out, and I hope it did, go down below and hit that subscribe button. I got a lot of awesome stuff just like this on the channel and more coming up. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what kind of stuff you're working on around the house. But now it's time to go camping. Thanks for watching.